We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, welcome to day 19 of the Phantom Manus. This is the Figure Friday, Friday edition. Um, we're looking at the allies today, so, you know, a few of the, the assistants to the, to the heroes that we have throughout the Phantom Menace. Um, there's probably a couple of others I could have included, but I just want to keep this to a, a small handful of figures, usually about six for a video that will pretty much cover most of the line. Um, there will be a few more next week, and then we've got one more at the end of the month. So let's, let's take a look. We've got Rick Oley. Uh, he was touted to be the... I don't think he was touted. It was kind of fan expectation that he was going to be the next big thing, you know. He, uh, you know, obviously got action figures and he did have a, you know, I don't think he had a vintage collection release, but um, he certainly had an update when the, uh, the the 3D release of The Phantom Menace was coming out and he got a he got a nice upgrade which I think would work on a vintage card but you know this is how he looks in 1999 I think it still holds up the helmet is a very nice snug fit it's obviously been on there for a long time it's there it's going to stay now because it was very difficult to get off And I know these figures are sturdy as hell, so he wasn't going to lose his head. But yeah, next time I try to take that off, I think I'll run it under some hot water just to loosen up the plastic a little bit. So next we have Captain Panaka. Now he has had a upgrade, I think it was in 2008's Legacy Collection, if memory serves me correctly. Not an easy one to track down now. I could be wrong on that. I can't remember. I vaguely seem to remember them doing another Captain Panaka, but again, I'm sticking with this one from 1999 until, you know, time comes where either A, they've done another Panaka and I, and I find one, or they do another. Excuse the uh, camera wobble there, folks. I'm just trying out a different tripod this time. It's a little bit wobbly. There we go. That's a bit better. So I love the, love the outfits in the Naboo. And sort of brownie reds and golds. Obviously, he's featuring a bit of blue being the head of security. The big hat doesn't come off. Big power of the force weapon here. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a big, big piece of gun. But I'm pretty sure that's the one he came with. I could be wrong, but... So next we've got Boss Nass. And while this isn't the 1999 version, this is the Power of the Jedi from 2000... Uh, 2001. Let's have a look. 2000. Yeah, this one was a little bit more to scale. The original Boss Nass was, it was a little bit small. Um, not as accurate, obviously. I think it was based on concept art. Um, more so. And yeah, he's a little bit small. Did come with a big staff, though. Whereas this one, he's just got... You know, open, welcoming hands. He looks like he just wants to give you a big hug. And his head sort of tips back. still yeah it holds up I don't think he needs an update it's it's fine there's some figures that do need updates some that don't and this one works fine for the purpose if not a seated one on the throne on his chair that'd be cool so there's boss Nass CO Bibble and I can't remember exactly what his sort of administrative role within Naboo sort of royalty royal sort of house was but he's uh got a couple of memorable lines such as it's unthinkable or it's outrageous 
<laughs> it's about it. Believe it or not, this figure goes for a pretty penny these days. For whatever reason, this dude has become a difficult one to track down for a good price. I don't know why. Because it's a balding, middle-aged old man with a long mullet and a beard. He's got a bit of a pot belly. Which, don't we all? Um, and purple gown. It's a, Yeah, it's an interesting one. I'm not sure why... He demands such a such a price these days. Maybe it's come down since I looked last, but yeah, it was only a couple of years ago that people were sort of saying this one was a, a tough tough one to track down. So, Co Bibble. Next we've got the uh, the next of the Gungans, Captain Tarples. Yeah, this guy could do with an upgrade big time. I think he had he had enough time. And a big enough speaking role to justify a new figure they've done. They could reuse some parts from the from the vintage collection Gungan Warrior. You know, very similar sort of outfit. And they could give, they could give this guy an upgrade. Sorry, three PO, I'll pick you up in a minute. Um, particularly his role in the Clone Wars. But yeah, it's just. Look oh, at those markings on his arm. Little squiggles. And Captain Tarfles is good. I like the look of him. I love his little sort of catfish sort of style moustache. And then, yeah, last but not least, we have 3PO. Naked 3PO. Which, again, this figure, you know, it's it still works. You know, it's it's missing sort of the articulation that current releases have, but he probably doesn't need too much. He kind of just, yeah, he's just an ally. He's an assistant to Anakin Skywalker. He doesn't have a much of a big role to play in the Phantom Menace. He does a few things. He cracks jokes with R two, and he sort of took a little bit of a backward role to. Uh, Give Jar Jar Binks a little bit more of the comedic spotlight in The Phantom Menace. Of course, 3PO comes back in. Not naked! In uh, Episode 2. But it was cool to see 3PO this way, you know. It's, it gives you a bit of an idea of what he looked like under that gold plating after all those years. And to find out that young Anakin Skywalker... Actually put him together. Assuming from from scraps and bits and pieces that he found at work in the what in Watto's junk shop. He was able to take little pieces home part bit by bit and eventually put him together. Like an old PC. So there we have the allies folks. Hope you enjoyed this week's Figure Friday. Stay tuned for next week and for another video tomorrow. Until then. May the force be with you always. Mm -hmm.